Well, my name is Mark Custody, and I just want to thank you for, uh, for playing, letting me play uh, today. I'm really honored to be here. Um, I, uh, this is my second time with uh, Bellamy Friends of Music. I was here in, I guess it was February, right, or January, January, okay, um, to hear my, my teacher, Chowling Lin, play, and uh, so that's when I met Lou, and, uh, and Lou said he needed somebody for May, and uh, so I said, sure, I'll play, and, and Lou, amazingly enough, having never heard me play, said, yeah, okay, so, um, uh, so I'm, I'm very honored. Uh, I'm, I'm not a professional, I'm an amateur. My, my day job, I'm, I'm an engineer for the Navy at the Navy base at Lakehurst, and I live in, in Toms River, New Jersey, and, um, and I'm taking lessons from, from Chow Ling for about three years now, so um, uh, I encourage any of you who may be considering taking lessons, it's been, um, it's not a, been an exaggeration to say it's really changed my life. Um, and I really look forward to my, my hour with Chow Ling on Fridays. It's really like something I look forward to all week, so it's, it's an incredible thing. So, um, so I'm going to introduce these, uh, these pieces. Um, I'm actually changing it up a bit. I'm going to be playing uh, the Earl Wilde and then the Chopin. I'm changing the Chopin and the Beethoven. So I want to introduce the first two pieces. Uh, Earl Wilde, if you don't know who he is, he is an American. He was from Pittsburgh. He, um, he was active between like 1930 and maybe 2010 when he passed away. Um, he was big friends with Gene, Wilde, or, uh, Gene Kelly from Pittsburgh. They went to college together. Um, and uh, he played for five presidents. He, it's very interesting, he actually played the first recorded piano piece, well, the first piano piece uh, on broadcast TV in the 30s when TV was first a thing. And then in the, the late 90s, he played the first uh, streaming uh, on, on the internet, first piano piece stream, so it's really interesting. The, the neat thing, and so he wrote, he wrote seven etudes around Gershwin songs, and I know three of them. Chow Ling played two of them when she was here. I'm going to be playing the third, and it's, uh, it's around the piece, The Man I Love, which is actually kind of a sad song. It's uh, this, this woman is singing about the man she loves, and you don't find out until the end that there is no man, and she's kind of, it's in her imagination, it's kind of a sad song. Um, but the neat thing about this piece that I really love is that uh, the left hand plays the first verse by itself, uh, both the melody and the accompaniment, and the right hand kind of comes tiptoeing in on the second verse to play a, a counter melody. It's kind of a neat thing. Um, and then the second piece I'm gonna, I'm gonna play is uh, the Chopin A2, see if I get this right, opus 25, number 6, in G sharp minor. I, I got it right. Um, and it's, you know how Chopin, a lot of his A2s have nicknames. This is the thirds or the double thirds, if you're not familiar with it. So uh, for any of the musicians, or any of the non musicians here, a third is the interval between two notes. So, um, so a third is one, two, three, one, three. That's a that's a third. Um, so I hope you enjoy it.
introduce the next two pieces. And so the first one is Debussy reflects, reflect Dom's low, which means reflections of the water. And so it was written in, uh, in around 1890. And so the late 1800s in the world, Paris was the, the um, kind of the, the hub of, of culture. And in Paris, the hub of culture was a home, uh, 89 Rue de Rome, which was actually the home of a poet named Stéphane Mellorme. And every Tuesday night, uh, a lot of writers and artists showed up as a, at his home, kind of like what, what we do here. Um, you know, they got together and drew inspiration from each other and just loved to talk about art. And, and uh, some pretty famous people were there, Oscar Wilde, uh, Yeats, the poet, uh, a lot of artists. Uh, mostly Impressionists, Renoir and Seurat and Degas. And there happened to be a young musician who showed up named Claude Debussy. And so that's where he drew a lot of his inspiration was from not musicians per se, but artists and poets and, uh, and writers. And so, you know, his, his music has been, uh, I guess, the analogy is, uh, you know, his music has been equated with Impressionism, although he, he never liked the term impression, Impressionism, uh, but he, um, you know, his music is a lot like a Monet painting or a Renoir painting. You know, very soft, very dreamy, not a whole lot of edges, um, a lot of, of light and dark, and most of all, uh, it evokes an image. So this piece is uh, Reflections in the Water, you know, very evocative of a, a lake or uh, a pond. Um, and in fact, uh, Debussy was really big into water. Uh, I play another piece called Gardens in the Rain, which, you know, the entire piece, you feel like you're getting pelted by rain. Um, and uh, and so, so it's a, it's a really beautiful piece. And then uh, I'm going to play uh, the Beethoven Moonlight Sonata, but the third movement. So um, it's a great contrast to the, um, the peacefulness of the Debussy. And it's in, that, in fact a really great contrast in the, in the serenity of the first movement, which everybody knows, um, but maybe not as many people know the third movement. And it's a, it's a ferocious piece. It's like a it's like a controlled rage, like a storm brewing. It's a really neat piece. Um, so I hope it, I do it justice. Uh, but thank you very much. I hope you enjoy it.
this is uh, an improvisation, an interpretation of the great Christian hymn, It Is Well With My Soul. And, um, and I wanted to play this in honor of, of Meg uh, Stewart. Um, so, you know, I, I've actually never met Meg. This is my second time with this group. But my heart goes out to you. And, and consider this song as like a big hug for me. Um, I, I also want to dedicate it to our very good friend Nancy Gardner, who uh, passed away this past year uh, after a long bout of cancer. A very wonderful woman. And she, uh, she'd been going to a lot of my recitals. And this is the first recital that I'm playing that, uh, after she died. So, um, so if I could, I'd like to play this number with her as well. Um, just a little bit about the hymn. It was written in um, 1890, or no, 1870, uh, by a man named, uh, I'm kind of nervous, I don't remember his name, Horatio Spofford, and he was a lawyer in, in, in Chicago. And uh, this is back in the 1870s. His family uh, wanted to go to England, so they got on a ship. Uh, his wife and his daughters, he didn't go. And uh, there was a tragedy the, on the way in the Atlantic, the ship in another ship, and capsized. So his daughters were all lost. Miraculously, his wife survived and, um, and ended up going to England. And so, you know, when he got the word, he grabbed the next ship he could to go to England to, to be with her, of course. And, um, and when they got to the place in the Atlantic Ocean, where, I'm getting kind of choked up, <laughs> where, where it happened, um, uh, that's when he penned these words, and it is well with my soul. And I think, um, you know, it's a very, you know, it, right, it's, it's tragic, it's like life changing. Um, and I'm sure he didn't say, I feel great, I'm, I'm not mourning. But I think what he said was, you know, God is with me and I'll make it through. So, this, this, this is, it is well with us.
15 minute break and uh, a couple of uh, lovely ladies have uh, some, uh, uh, some treats to help you uh, get through the break and through the second part of the program. An honor of Meg and an honor of the